This dude is one of the greatest athletes ever walked this earth. He comes back from a knee injury, and what does he do? I don't know, pick, how you doing, house call. And then the next game, looks like Batman soaring. So picks crazy. two people Ooh. off, his, including one to win a game. All pro, ladies and gentlemen, from the Miami Dolphins, Jalen Rams. Yeah, Jalen! What's man? up, y'all? All right. Man, what's up? Can, can y'all hear me? Yeah, yes, you sir. sound great. And before we get into it, Florida State, ah, not in the college football playoff. Ooh. They win every single game in the ACC, and they don't get an opportunity to go win a national championship. I see the shirt. Your thoughts as it happened last night and where you are right now. Man, I found out uh, pre-game, right before our game happened, man. I feel for I feel for the nose right now. They they did everything that they could possibly do. They controlled all they could control, and um, it just wasn't in their favor this time. I think it's crazy. It's the first time in, you know, college football history an undefeated Power 5 team isn't able to at least just compete for the natty. Um, yeah, it's crazy, but but they hey, they champs in my mind. So they got they got one more game. I'm, I'm honestly wondering if, uh, you know, the top guys are going to play or not. You know, they got they got a future to look look forward to, but we'll see. Yeah, that's a, obviously we're all bummed for Florida State fans. We're all bummed that the situation is the way it is, where only four teams can make it when there's five power conferences. Feels like it was doomed from the beginning. Now yep. that just feels like something that has been yep. doomed since the jump. Next year, 12 teams. If that was the case, Florida State would be in. Just got to go do it all again. That's all. Just got to go undefeated again. That's yeah. Right. That's, yeah, that's easy. <laughs> that's uh, the plan. Yeah, you got it. All right, let's talk about your return to the Dolphins. Now, obviously, we had not seen the Dolphins' defense. Is he frozen? Yeah. I, there think I froze with you, so we'd be team. There he is. Uh, Jalen, you get there back. You get back to full form seemingly immediately upon getting back on the football field. With that Miami Dolphins defense, from what you were watching all year to now getting a chance to be a part of it, where has the growth come on the defensive side of the ball that we've all seen but we don't really know about? Yeah, I think a lot of a lot of people just got more comfortable with the defense. Uh, this is a lot of guys' first time being in this scheme. I have been in it for the past three years out in L.A., but – uh, a lot of guys, this is their first time being in the scheme, and they just got more comfortable with it as as the weeks have went on. And we put in a lot of work. We work our ass off during the week, and, and we, you know, getting comfortable with being out there playing on the field with each other. So it's all starting to click for us, and um, I think we can still, you know, continue to grow from here, to be honest with you. I don't even think we had our peak yet. Everybody's talking about that offense, obviously. Tyreek's going to go for over 2,000. Somehow the commanders just chose not to guard him yesterday. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That is an incredibly cool thing. How does it feel, though, now that the defense is at a point where it's a part of the conversation? You know, there for a while it wasn't, but now it's like, hey, we got a championship caliber offense and a championship caliber defense. That has to feel great yeah. in the building. Man, no, that feels good. It, it, it honestly feels good because we got a lot of competitors uh, on the defense and the offense. So, you know, they, they have a good explosive game. You know, we try to match their energy. We try to we try to make this a defensive team. But at the same time, they competitors, a lot of all pro, pro bowl guys on that side. So they like, nah, this is an offensive team. So, you know, in a way, we kind of competing like that. But during the game, it's like we just turn into one big unit, one big team. And, uh, we just try to play some complimentary football. And you're doing it. Uh, hey, in the lead in the AFC. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Top of the top here of the AFC. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Now's a good time to get hot, by the way. Seems oh, yeah. like you're continuing to do that. d -Butt has a question for you, Jalen. Yeah, speaking of now being a time to get hot, obviously you missed the beginning of the season being banged up, got in, hit the ground running. Now we got a bye week going into week 15 now where you come back. Is this the freshest you felt at this point in the season going into the home stretch? Uh, probably, yeah. Um, shit, I hope so for, for the rest of the guys. Me, man, I'm still trying to, I'm trying to get it, man. I'm still out there taking scout team reps, all that. I'm trying to, I miss so much football, like, for the first eight weeks or whatever it was that I'm still out there trying to get it. My legs ain't sore. I still got fresh legs. I feel good. So, um, it's just, for me, I'm, I'm still out there trying to get it right now. I feel, I feel great. And I, I, plan to continue to feel great i just hope the rest of the guys do too now you're old now How, what year is this for you now 
It is eight for me now, but I ain't old, though. Don't say that I ain't old. You're old. <laughs> yeah. old what you're saying? Hey, how about that pic, too? You flying? Oh, flying? Yep. Fly. Hey. Are the hands better hey. now than they've ever been? Man, I know. Did that look like an old guy to y'all? That don't look like no old guy. <laughs> You're a freak, dude. Yeah. An absolute freak. You're so much fun to watch play football. Honest, you are genuinely so much fun to watch play football. I assume all the Dolphins fans are learning that each week and incredibly excited about it. Speaking of Dolphins, go ahead, Tone. Yeah, Jalen. Like Mike McDaniel, we like when we talk, he just seems so different than any other coach that that we've ever seen or heard. Playing for him, is it that way? Is he super different than any other coach you've played for? Like his watches, his shoes, his style <laughs> all around. Yeah. Like how different is it playing for coach? It's extremely different. Definitely different than any coach I played for. Uh, you know, I've, I've had, what, uh, three or four different coaches. Uh, you know, Coach McVay out in L.A., he's super cool. We still stay in contact. Um, but Mike's definitely got a different type of swag about him. Uh, definitely funny. Uh, crack a lot of jokes all the time. But just him as a coach, like, on the field, he's actually super challenging. He, uh, he challenges us to be our best self. Um, more than y'all get to see and more than y'all would think. So I, I really like that part about him that a lot of people don't see. But he's super supportive. Um, and he knows uh, what we're capable of. So, you know, when you get out on that field, you kind of you want to play for somebody like that. So it's fun. It's fun playing for Coach. Yeah. And he, you know, he think he got some swag. He, we let him have it. He got a little something zone. Dude, he wears it. Whenever he pulls up the joggers yep. on oh, the yeah. sideline. Coach, you know, yeah, yeah, that's he, his signature right there. The, the ridiculous glasses. Sweet. Just like he puts them on, he knows. Like, yep, killing them with these. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, it is, uh, he's a different animal. And, and to your point about coaching, watching hard knocks, watching like in practice, the things he's saying, how he's saying it, I feel like he delivers the message to everybody perfectly, seemingly. Is that true? Uh, no, nah, 100%. You 100% right. I mean, he, uh, yeah, he coaches us hard. He doesn't coach us all the same. He kind of knows each of us as individuals and players. But yeah, he definitely gonna get that message across, and then uh, and then the team takes it from there. Like we we really a player led team as well, though. So he get it to all the leaders, and then we take it from there. Uh, there's one man that is in New York that is from Canada, now lives in Indianapolis yeah, after yep. getting a 10 year ban. He's gone six to midnight listening to everything you have to say. Gumpy <laughs> has a question for you, pal. Yeah, Jalen, great to see you on the football field. Fins up all the way. Uh, can you just talk about the next man up mentality? Like Brandon Jones stepped up with Holland out. Van Ginkle's just an absolute dog with Jalen out. Just seems like the defense just keeps getting better even though you're losing guys. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, injuries happen in football. But, yeah, I think everybody, um, like all these guys who, who have stepped up, they've had a lot of playing time. They've actually been starters. Uh, at different points of their career so we kind of know what they got uh you know got in store and what they can bring to the field so when they get out there it's not really any any difference i mean obviously we would like to have our top dogs out there and our leaders out there but when these guys get out there we feel just as comfortable we know they can get the job done too so it is next man mentality but hey we good though yeah uh how about van Ginky? man yeah. huh i almost had two dude he was just yeah, he said, give me, he, he, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Literally, very early. And then I forget who was commentating this game, uh, but the quote was, yeah, can't have that against the Dolphins. <laughs> you know, with everything going on on the other side of the ball, mm -hmm. you can't have Van Ginky uh -huh. taking no. things in the house on you. That's yeah. going to be a long day. You guys have given a lot of people some long-ass days. Do you guys feel the difference with your team? Like, do you, do you understand the potentials and everything, I assume? No, nah, hell yeah, that's the plan. We, you know, we kind of talked about it um, at the end of the game yesterday too. Like, I think it's like five weeks in a row we've held our opponents under, you know, uh, 17 points on defense. Uh, we take a lot of pride in that. Uh, that's super important to us. We feel like if we can do that and we know what the offense, how explosive they can be on the other side, we can win a lot of games in this league. So we'll, we'll just keep building off of that. And, um, yeah, and they're also trying to stack up them turnovers with it too. Jalen, speaking of that offense you just mentioned, it feels like this year's Stafford and Cup when the Rams won the Super Bowl with you is Tua and Tyreek. Do you see similarities yeah. between the two teams? You know, because obviously 
top of the division. You're in the top of the division for, you know, when you're with the Rams, AFC actually now as a whole. But when you look at that Super Bowl team, do you see some things that's like, oh, I remember doing stuff like this that, you know, helped led to a Super Bowl? 100%. Definitely. I see a lot of similarities. Um, I tr and it's crazy because I, I actually try not to compare too much because I like to just really enjoy uh, the experience and the moments when they, when they, you know, right there in front of me. I don't want to think about the past or look too ahead in the future. I really try to enjoy the present. But mm. yeah, obviously, it's like if you just look on paper and you see and you see this team and then you see the Rams team that we had, it's it's definitely a lot of similarities. Uh, uh, you know, from that team and the team we have this year, we'll have the offensive player of the year again. Um, hopefully we'll have the MVP. I think uh, we got two guys that are deserving of that. Uh, we got a lot of all pros and pro bowlers on this team. Um, and a lot of guys who are going to get paid next year, too. <laughs> yeah, that's always good. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats to everybody. Congrats to everybody Hi. on all fronts. Uh, before we let you go, and we can't thank you enough for joining us here. You're the man for this, by the way. I want to let you know that. Um, I know you've been on the record saying officiating is a tough job. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Refing is a tough job. It's super. We're very, very thankful. These are all things you've said publicly mm -hmm. numerous times. We're very, very thankful for all the refs that sign up to ref. Right. Nobody wants to ref. The people that ref are honorable and admirable. Yeah, of course. And all that you've said this. Oh, I love the refs. Refs are good people. Do you find it difficult now with the way things are, pass interference and all that stuff? Like, have you had to change completely because you are old over the last eight <laughs> years? Has it changed at all now? Is it harder now? And, like, what are your reactions to some of the calls that take place on Sundays, Mondays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays here in a couple of weeks in the NFL? Yeah, I'm not – yeah, man, I'm not going to lie. It's tough. It's tough seeing some of those calls. Sometimes it's tough playing the game, um, especially as a defender. Um, just because, you know, it's, uh, you feel like all calls are, you know, driven for offensive guys and offensive players because uh, that's what sells tickets, obviously. But it, it's it's definitely tough. But at the same time, I do understand, like, yo, they doing their job and they ain't trying to fuck up. Excuse me. They ain't oh. trying to mess up. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> they, uh, but, yeah. but, you know, Neither were you. it is yeah. tough, man. Seeing seeing some of this stuff is, is, is definitely tough because the – you know, we put a lot of work in and we put a lot of thought and it, our whole process in to, to be a good football team and make good plays and be good players. So when, you know, a, a bad call or something happens against us, we do kind of take that, um, you know, strongly and get pretty mad about that because we put in so much work. We like, yo, y'all need to put in the same amount of work so y'all can, um, you know, get these calls right because, you know, a lot goes into it into these games yeah it's a swing of an entire everything not only just that game but potential jobs careers legacies everything yeah. is that why you do the uh oh i'm just gonna jump over yeah that's yeah. a cool move that's a good move. You, just gonna, move you just decided you're gonna jump and then you like you utilize like your yep. wing <laughs> and Fly you, a little bit. you jump over people that's a sweet move you should that's smart i don't know when did you find out you can do that <laughs> Hey man, you know I, I I've been blessed by God to to have some uh, athletic abilities, and I just try God some God things out sometimes, and and they end up working out for us in that instance. Yeah, I would say, yeah. and if I could do that, I'd be walking around this city yeah. just jumping over him. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a blast. Uh, keep going. <laughs> We're enjoying watching your team and you. Thank you so much for the time on this Monday, boss. No nah, man, I appreciate you, man. Love the show. Love watching y'all guys. Y'all keep going. Hey, listen. Florida State gets that win over Georgia, I think, you know. Yeah, national huh? champions. National yeah. champions. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, heck yeah, man. Go Nose. Hey, hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, Jalen!